Since moving here to the Philippines two months ago, we haven't had any real time to relax. And the change of landscape from towering buildings to green rice fields is a welcome sight. Hello, familia. Welcome back to Live in La Vida Tagalog. Today, we are on a little, I, it's a mini vacation. My husband and the boys booked a trip for us out here in Batangas. Might be a little bit of a series depending on everything we've got going on and hope you can come join us. I have to say, I am not used to this. I am usually the one over there at the counter handling the check-in dealing with the email and it is very much appreciated so i'll say it now in case i forget to say it any other time during this weekend thank you honey thank you boys um, let's let's try this way Ooh. say hi daddy you see that no. You have to break the seal when you Ooh, open the door. You see this? I know. Uh oh. Oh, it's push. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. I'm speechless. You're speechless? <gasps> Whoa. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Don't take off the shoes yet. Oh my. Look at that. Oh, hello, good morning, or afternoon, right? All right, it's time to grab some lunch. We had a little light snack in the car on the way over here. And then go out and explore the resort a little bit. The resort has three main restaurants on its premises. Our first one to visit is Lagoa. I don't want to like mispronounce it. I want to say it's Lagao La or Lagoa, L-A-G-O-A. -A. Um, it's a restaurant here at the Pico Sands Hotel. It was actually recommended to us by Susie over at the front desk. So we figured we'd try this place out for lunch. We are out um, basically facing the lagoon and the pool. So it's just a beautiful view. I ordered sinigang with the bangus belly, so the milkfish belly, and I see little fins in here. Um, it looks like there's a little bit of miso in this broth too, and I don't think I've ever had sinigang with miso in the broth. Sinigang broth and rice here to start off with. Oh, that's so good. I like it too. Second favorite. That sinigang is my second favorite Filipino dish because you all know sisig is my number one. I don't know. It's something about sisig. I think everybody in the world needs to try sisig. I love eggplant and okra in it. I know everybody does something a little bit different with it. I'm going to try it with the bangus. Mmm. No different than when I used to make it with salmon. So I might have to start learning how to make it with bangus here. Hey guys, I'm back. And I'm eating some pizza. That was a gorgeous crust ever. You get a cheesy flavor with a sweetness because of the tomato juice. And then the pineapple kicks in. It just all comes together because there's pepper on the bottom too. The resort has two main swimming pools. For an additional charge, guests can enjoy themselves with the different on-site activities that the resort has to offer. They also had an on-site cafe if you need a little pick-me-up. My face is melting. Uh, my first impressions overall of this place is that it's really, really nice. Um, the room is gorgeous, it's beautiful. There was one little mishap when we first walked in. Um, one of the duvet covers was a little bit stained, so we just called and had someone come and change it out. 
but other than that it was very very clean um, the restaurant was really nice it wasn't too packed at least for the lunch that we went and had and we have a fantastic view so from our patio we can see this lagoon right out here behind me so it's gonna be really cool to wake up in the morning and have a nice cup of coffee sitting out there and I have to show you this one right here across from me this one's fabulous as well because I can see the clouds rising up over this hill mountain right back over here such a gorgeous view I believe there was a spa package that was uh, pre-planned for me and tomorrow there's some kind of an excursion One of the biggest attractions of this resort is the beachfront location. This is what I was most looking forward to. There is one thing I have been wanting to do ever since we landed in Manila. And it sounds a little weird, but it is this thing I saw on an episode of Down to Earth with Zac Efron on uh, Netflix. Very, very cool show. But his travel friend, I think his name is Darren, uh, he has this ritual where whenever he lands in a different country, he takes off his shoes and touches his feet to the ground. And a lot of that has to do with grounding your energy and sort of aligning yourself and your energy with the place where you're at. And I've been wanting to take off my shoes and just put my feet on the ground ever since we got here. And I'm about to do that right now. And I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna soak in this beautiful moment on this beach here in Batangas. Finally, grounding my feet into the earth in the Philippines. We're here. I'm so happy to be here. Can you see it? These are the perks of being mom and always having the bag. Yeah. They need to shove all their things inside my bag all the time. I love the sound of the ocean and the waves. lost it. I feel like we were meant to live on a beach somewhere because we love the sound of the water. What'd you get, Bunso? Ooh, pretty little shell. Very cool. I think it's time for a photo shoot. Anyone else? Yeah. Let's do it. These are the moments you don't really see on camera where I get to follow them and just be in awe of my own beautiful family. For dinner, we visit the other on-site restaurant, Pico, as it's appropriately known. They had a variety of dishes that can cater to most eaters. Of course, Kuya is almost always eating with his hands. Good morning. It is uh, day two, Dalawa, here at the Pico Sands Hotel. And we are having breakfast at the Pico restaurant. They do kind of like this breakfast um, buffet, it looks like, in the morning. So they got a lot of cool different things for us to choose from here. Last night, I came over here, right in front of me, to the spa, and my husband booked me um, an incredibly amazing spa package. I had uh, aromatherapy bath, I did steam room, I did a salt scrub, like a full body salt scrub, full body mask, and then a massage to sort of, to sort of end it all off, and it was, absolutely fabulous so relaxing 
I never thought to do it like right before uh, or actually at the end of the day and it was a really good way to sort of like round out my evening. I grabbed a bite to eat and went back up to the room and got to hang out with the boys for the rest of the night. So it was really, really nice to be able to do um, the spa package yesterday. So I highly recommend checking that out if you're over this way. It was my first time actually having a salt scrub. I've never done that before. And my skin feels incredible. It is so soft. It's just amazing. So I really appreciate him for doing that for me. And just this whole weekend, it's already been fabulous. I'm all day. Body melon with toast. Look at my teeny tiny pandesa. Where'd you find that? Uh, in the bread station. Oh, Rowan was looking for one. He didn't find Look it. Look at it, it's so cute. I'm gonna dip it in my coffee. Mm. We've had better, but this will do for now. Oh yeah, when did you get that omelet? Uh, where you're gone. <laughs> What'd you get in it? Uh, I got all the toppings. I had no idea what it was, but from the taste, looks like it. Bell peppers, <coughs> tomatoes, bacon, and onions. I don't know if I've shared this before, but if there was one meal that I could eat like all day, it's breakfast. It's my favorite meal of the day. Um, and here, I'm doing it a little different actually. I'm, I have things that are probably not traditionally a breakfast meal. I went with um, some vegetable noodles, some fish and garlic rice, some veggies, and then I got some French toast over here. So I am filling up and gonna eat well this morning because I don't know what the rest of the afternoon kind of holds for me. Um, yeah. I have no idea what this is. I just got seconds, I'm gonna try it. it looks That's good. So I thought this was so nice. I, I thought that. That looks like... It tastes like puto. It has more of a sweetness to it. There's some sort of like macupuno strings on there. It sweetens it a bit more. You like it? I thought this was a shomai. That's why yeah. I got rice with it. <laughs> Overall, this breakfast buffet was pretty delicious. And they even grill for lunch. We are about to check out of the hotel and start making our drive back home. It is a Sunday morning, so um, I kind of expect that there's going to be some traffic. Maybe there won't be. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it because we're going to make a few stops on the way home. I just wanted to share a little bit. So here is our room. It's kind of a mess right now, obviously, because we're checking out. but. It was a fantastic room. The service here was amazing. All of the staff has been so incredible throughout the time that we've been here. Um, we spent a day at the pool, which was fantastic. We did the island excursion yesterday, and then my husband planned a really beautiful uh, dinner under the stars for us out on the beach last night as an early birthday gift. Uh, unfortunately, we had some bad weather and we had to move under the patio at the restaurant, but we did get a little bit of time out there and a little bit of footage to share with you all. So, okay, I have a feeling there's going to be some traffic on the way home for sure. All right, so that's it for us and our weekend at uh, Pico Sands Hotel. It was fantastic. We are on the drive back to BGC, and we might make a stop on the way home, we'll see. Boys, what do we say? Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate all of our viewers, and thank you for all the comments and all the help with the internet video and just the positive messages and encouragement. They've been fabulous. Salamat and inga till next time. All right, oh, backlit, not good. Okay, let's try this way. What Kason's comment was? It was, uh, you mean Kuya Kason? Yes, that is so good. I don't wanna go on the grass, there might be snakes. Or wizards, maybe there's lizards. Dice says there might be some crocodiles in this lagoon back here, but I think he's probably wrong about that. I'm